so i think this is amit here i am going to provide you a complete roadmap to get 150 plus marks out of 214 manipal entrance test of 2024 as the first attempt is going to happen soon on 16 or 17th of april and next attempt will be done on uh, 18th and 19th of may so there is two attempts so this roadmap will help you for both the attempt even if you will not get good result in first attempt you can try for the next time but the procedure will be same so kindly listen to my words and follow the procedure to get the best result in manipal entrance test 2024 so here i will consider the important chapter subject wise based on the new official syllabus of manipal 2024 examination and how you need to complete from where you will get the questions whether it will be like the means examination or very low level like board exams and everything i will discuss here so please try to watch the video up to the last so first of all let me discuss the subject wise chapter so first of all mathematics you talk then in algebra you need to go with the binomial theorem sequence series matrices and determinant and uh, also permutation combination linear inequalities these are the chapter you need to do from algebra thereafter coordinate geometry uh, you need to do only introduction to 3d geometry some of the part are not so important that's why i am not including those parts it is the time to do a smart preparation you can't go for all the chapter because time is less and also the important thing is that in some of the chapter according to the ncrt or cbc syllabus some of the part of that syllabus is not a part of manipal syllabus please try to understand it some of the part of cbc syllabus is not a part of manipal syllabus so you need to consider that also by getting the official syllabus and once you register with my guidance i will guide you for that also so that you will do the smart preparation and i will provide you all the required material previous year question concept test series chapter wise mock test and all the subject wise thesis everything so that you will get the best result and after that i will guide you for second attempt and for the counseling process as well and this is not only for the first uh, first attempt it is for both the attempt and not only for manipal but for all type of entrance exam whatever you are looking for so in the next section you will be able to check the detail of my guidance friends here i will explain you about my complete mentorship and guidance program as i am providing it from last five six years over ten thousand students already have guided who are studying in top iit nit triple i private college of india so if you want you can enroll in my complete mentorship and guidance program for any type of entrance exam if you are doing for engineering each day i will be providing to you the daily basis mentorship how you need to study because it each entrance exam you need to prepare differently so if your goal is jmn the advance i will be focusing on that if your goal is all type of entrance exam i will be covering in that way so that you will have the good score in all type of entrance exam so that later you will decide which type of college you need to join so here if you talk about the more, uh, more number of chapter it is from mathematics then in calculus if you want you can do differential equation and other chapter are a little bit difficult and you may do negative marking that's why you need to skip it thereafter you need to go with mathematical reasoning statistics and probability so these are the chapter that you need to do from mathematics now if you, if you come to the physics part then first chapter you need to do that is physical world there will be very easy question from measurement part and thereafter you need to go with kinematics that is motion in a straight line not the motion in a plane only motion in a straight line thereafter you need to go with work power energy and thereafter gravitation thermodynamics and uh, also the whole modern physics you need to do and kinetic theory of gases also you need to do electrostatistics current electricity and alternating current only alternating current not electromagnetic induction and thereafter electromagnetic wave so these are the chapter that you need to do from physics at the last i will discuss how you need to cover from where you will solve the question subject wise everything but uh, first let me complete chemistry as well that is the important chapter so first chapter some basic concept of chemistry because this thing will be used in every chapter of chemistry and also a structure of atom and thereafter periodicity and thereafter states of matter that is gases and liquid state chemical thermodynamics and thereafter s block p block and thereafter environmental chemistry solution electrochemistry surface chemistry and uh, thereafter p and df block and also the coordination compound and biomolecules so these are the chapter that you need to do if possible try to do polymer and chemistry in everyday life also that is basic just ncrt level so that's it and english part is very easy you can check the screenshot also of the syllabus i am showing you the english part is very easy that you can do two to uh, two to three days before the examination as well so this was the important chapter now the important thing is that how you will cover this chapter subject wise let me discuss for mathematics just get the basic concept from anywhere from your notes school notes or coaching notes or youtube video 
or any where you can get the concept except ncrt book because in ncrt you will not get the detailed concept so once you get the concept try to solve the question for solving question you may find it very difficult to get the met previous year question i will provide that and also you can do the vit question or you can do the j means basic level question it may be confusing that's why it is important to have a mentor so if you want you can contact me there is a nominal charge for that once you register i will be guiding you on a daily basis for everything so next for physics also get the concept and solve the question and more importantly once you complete at least 5 to 6 chapter of a subject try to do subject wise mock test and while studying one subject don't go for other subject try to complete once a uh, one chapter of a subject try to solve the question thereafter move for the next chapter next chapter can be from any other subject as well so this is the process that you need to follow for chemistry you just need to go with ncrt for physical chemistry you can go like physics that is get the concept and solve the previous year question or vit question or bit set question or basic level of j means question so this is how you need to do and try to complete each day two three chapter because time is very less within 10 days you will able to get because only 30 40 chapter we have discussed that you need to cover in detail so that you can get the best result in manipal and later days you will get the best branch and college in the manipal counseling process so hope you get my point clearly so please try to subscribe the channel so that you will be getting everything at the right time in the same time